All right, guys, Leif in Sweden was kind enough to send me another lock. This one, again, is a piece of history. It says Anchor on there. It's not Anchor Loss. This is the predecessor called Anchor Eskilstuna, 550 across, 50 millimeters in thickness. Uh, it is an eight-lever lock, and it was full of this nasty grease. So I used a bunch of solvent and cleaned it out. It works a lot smoother now. There's what the key looks like, and I'm hoping that that is the tensioner. I really don't know that for sure. It could also be that guy, or it could be both. Who knows? Anyway, it works very smoothly compared to what it did before, and then it does open. It gets a little hung up on the aluminum right there, kind of drags right there, but works perfectly. Uh, inside of there, that silver part is the hook that goes into this slot. So when I turn the key, I think you can probably see it slide down and lock in play. So very cool mechanism. Anyway, Leif was also kind enough in an earlier package to send me a bunch of old key. Now, to me, these are super important because I use these to make tensioners out of. So one of these, perhaps this one or maybe this guy, I really don't know. But hopefully one of these guys will fit into the keyway and I can cut them down and make a tensioner out of it. So let me go ahead and try to make a tensioner. Let's clamp this guy up, see if we can't get this old Eskil Stuna picked open today. All right, just a reminder, there's what the key looks like, and it does work, unlocked, and locked. Okay, uh, here's what I came up with. Um, one of the things about this lock, well, there's two peculiarities. The first is there's not a lot of room between that center post and the body of the lock. So... I had to make the uh, tensioner quite thin on the shaft. The other thing, because of the depth of this lock, 55 millimeters, I had to lengthen or increase the depth of the hole for the post all the way back, which of course further weakens it. So, yeah, so now my all excuses are all in place, just in case we have a failure. So, shove it all the way in. It does go all the way to the back, a little tight. I didn't want to make that hole any larger than I had to. And you can see it it's starting to tension it right there, a little bit of spring. So again, I'm hoping that I don't have to tension both the rear one and the front one. No, I can do one at a time. I'm gonna use this wire. It's really thin and it does seem to slide in there like so. A Little bit of pinching, but I really couldn't get it any thinner without modifying the lock and I didn't wanna do that. That would be cheating. All right, um, let's see what we got here. Get in there. Okay, I'm bottoming out against the back of the post. I'm tensioning. And let's see what we got. I think I found a gate or perhaps a false gate. Okay, there's another gate or perhaps another false gate. <laughs> Click on four. Okay, little turn on the core there when I got to lever five. And those are all springy in the front. Getting a little aggressive now because nothing is binding. I probably found a false gate somewhere. I think the last one I picked was four, so I'm going to get right about where I think four. I'm going to lighten up on the tension. See if I can work him out of that false gate. Come on. Come out of there. There we go. Okay, I think we got a little deeper fault set now. Oh, that was falling off the lever. And there we go. All right, get that tension on. Start to turn, and we have an open. Now I have a problem. My uh, tensioner is stuck. 
Well, I'll figure that out later. All right, we do have an open. Uh, there are eight levers in this. I believe uh, lever uh, six and lever four both had false gates. But again, by loosening up on the tension, you can usually work it out of it. Unless it's one of those deep, very sharp ones, then, then you're totally hosed. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Anchor Eskiltuna 550-55 from Leif in Sweden. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Oh, giveaway. Well, let me get the tension around here. This will be a giveaway uh, along with the key. Um, and everything else I worked on this week as well. Uh, you call I worked on this guy probably Wednesday or thereabouts with the key to Matlock. Um, and then, let's see. That was from Rick, by the way. And then we had another one here, the bike lock, the twice bike lock, also from Leif in Sweden. So this will be the giveaway this week. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Now, why won't you come out of there? Maybe it's got to be closed. Ah, for another day. All right, guys, I thought I'd sweeten this giveaway just a little bit. By the way, I did get that tension out, so it wasn't that difficult. As soon as the camera turned off. Anyway, uh, I had forgotten that LearnLockPicking.com donated a couple more of these training locks, so I figured I might as well throw one of those into the weekly giveaway. This is the ultimate adversary, for those of you who've never seen these before. It's the 7-pin progressive training lock. You can pin it up progressively as your skills increase, populate more chambers with these guys, big bag of... All kinds of pins, uh, spool pins, serrated pins, T pins, extra springs, plugs, all kinds of cool stuff in there. Extra plugs, the wrench, some keys, all that comes in the box. Um, on top of that, so now that makes a whole bunch of locks, what else are you going to get? Well, donated by Lockpick World were a couple of these guys. It is the Nano Kit. For some reason, these are getting scarcer and scarcer. They keep getting bought out. But I've got three or four sets of these. I'm going to be giving this one away with this uh, kit. And last but not least... A new product from Lockpick World be this guy. Pretty cool little, almost like a James Bondish case. You got opposing um, uh, decoders. Now they're different thicknesses. This one, let me make sure I'm right here. This is the one that measures, I believe it's 12 thousandths of an inch. So uh, for a decoder, that's a little bit thick, but that's okay because on the other side, He's so thin I don't want to cut my finger. Seven thousandths of an inch. So very, very flexy. So easy to remember, 711. Comes in the same case, ready to start decoding. That is the giveaway for this week. If you want to know how to register for the free giveaway, stick around. I will tell you how to do it. Thanks, guys. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway. Purple band, just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.